Well, hello everyone. So I got a, uh, a tip here for people who are uh, experiencing pitcher dullness after a firmware update. And I just did the August update uh, per my last video and it did seem to resolve the Dolby darkness issues. But a lot of people are getting these updates and they're noticing that their pitcher uh, after the TV reboots, after it restarts, after, the, after it applies the firmware update, Sometimes, uh, like uh, one of the commenters I had on my uh, last video I made said that uh, it, it did it automatically. So that kind of addresses the question I had posted on the, the, um, uh, the previous video is, will it sneak it in? Will it do it automatically? It looks like it will. So we're kind of stuck with, or kind of a high sense of uh, mercy to, in hopes that their firmwares are done right and they don't screw things up. But I think I understand what's going on, why people are experiencing dullness issues after a firmware update. And I have two steps. And if you follow these two steps, almost assuredly, you're going to be able to fix the problem and get your picture brightness back and clarity back. The first step is to go ahead and turn your TV off, or if it's off, go ahead and remove the power cord and do it for about five to 10 minutes. I'd say 10 minutes, do 10 minutes. Go get a cup of coffee, go make a sandwich, go you know, go take the dog for a walk, just walk away and let it sit for 10 minutes. Why do I say that? Well, I, I worked IT for almost uh, 27 years. And in my experience, I've had certain situations where like main boards on servers and stuff like that didn't get cleared until I actually let them sit longer off, uh, off complete, uh, power with power removed and uh like the, the typical 15 or 30 seconds that we always used to subscribe to the ba the, the basics didn't always work because there may be stubborn capacitors in there that are taking a longer time to discharge and de-energize the uh the uh you know the main power to the power source of the main board so let it you know give it a good 10 minutes and just walk away let it fully discharge come back plug that power cord in turn your tv on and visually inspect it. If it still looks dull and didn't fix the problem, you're going to need to go to step two. And step two is just as much as when you get to the home page, you're going to tap over to the sprocket, the settings, all settings here. You're going to click on that. You're going to go to system and you're going to tab over to about and you're going to go to reset. Now, before you do this, okay, get your, get your, your, your all your passwords and, and user IDs ready for like Netflix, Hulu. Um, if you don't know off the top of your head, you're you're connecting to your network, your security, your, your password you set to get onto your Wi-Fi. You're going to need to know that because when you when you do a factory reset, it's putting things back to the way it left the factory at Hisense. And when you got it out of the box, if you remember that. You got it out of the box, it had to walk you through all the steps. You know, the Google thing started with all the spinning colorful things going on and it's basically walking you through the setup of you know wh where are you what's your time zone uh then it's asking you all the, the 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 routine questions it needs to do to get you set up and then after you get past that point where you join it to your to your if you're wireless if you're wired it shouldn't matter you're already on the you know if you have a cat5 plugged into it you're already uh you should be on the network but if you're wi wireless and you have security hopefully you have security you're not running your you're, uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully you're not one of those that bring home a, you know, Wi-Fi uh, router and, and go ahead and uh, modem and, and go ahead and just leave it the factory default. You set all the security protocols, but usually they have security nowadays built in because people used to do that years ago. But anyways, uh, so remember that, join, get, get your paperwork out, join it to the network, and then you're going to have to go through and enter all your Netflix, whatever streaming services you have, all the username and passwords and reset those up again. But I'm almost... You know, I don't seventy percent sure that will fix your problem. Let's say eighty <laughs> percent. It, it always has for me, and everybody I've directed to do that has fixed the problem because they're like, oh, as soon as they get it on, the the they can see immediately that the picture's brighter, it's poppier, it's back to where they want it. It's back to you know, it's clear, it's not dull. And I got to tell you, um, and I'll maybe I'll let's see if I can uh, go ahead and go back to. I've been watching a lot of uh, content here and um, uh, with uh, Dolby and uh, well, I better not do that because I don't want any copyright infringement issues going on. But uh, I can tell you that after this latest update, I did the factory reset. I kind of made, I kind of implement that now. If I know it did a firmware update, 
or if I initiated one myself, because sometimes I'll turn it on in the morning and I'll say, hey, there's an update. Do you want to update? Well, I, I, it looks like from what his, uh, the, the, the commenter from yesterday on my other video said that it basically took the update. So I, we really probably don't have a choice. If you, if you sidestep it and just ignore it and say, no, you don't want to do it, it sounds like eventually it's going to go ahead and proceed with the update, uh, especially if your TV's on the network or plugged in, to, you know, plugged in with the Cat5 or if it's on the Wi-Fi 24-7, as all these TVs are. You know, we don't, we don't disconnect them or anything like that. So, um it's going to probably go ahead and force an update. You're going to notice that dullness. Try those steps. I'm, I'm less likely to think step number one, whereas you just unplug it, let it sit, will fix it. But you need to try that because some it does, believe it or not. But you're, the majority, I would say, are probably going to go. And I can't statistically say which is more or less. But if that number one, the easy one, where you're just the ruling power doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't fix it, you're going to have to go to step two and do that factory, uh, uh, you know, reset to default like it was new out of the box. But that almost always seems to fix it. And maybe that's uh, some of the issues that a lot of people on some of the forums that I'm reading are experiencing. Uh, but though I did do a factory reset after that uh, earlier July update, and it still was pretty dull. But this latest one that just came out August, uh, just, uh, you know, several days ago, uh, pretty much address that with Dolby because I've been watching shows like Your Honor and I couldn't even watch it before without putting my uh, fire stick into like uh, one of the HDMI ports and changing it from enhanced to standard mode so it just runs standard definition and then all of a sudden boom it was bright but now I can actually watch on its own native app you know through its own native interface uh, anything with the Dolby and now it's uh, actually I wouldn't say like again it's not like like it is now like it's not poppy bright but it's like HDR but it's majorly improved but I do have to have my settings jacked up in Dolby to to uh, to to see everything uh, very well I mean I've turned every maxed everything out even contrast at a quite a high uh, you know quite a, quite a high setting to get my satisfaction but that's because I like a poppy bright picture but it's not accurate. So, you know, don't do as I do. Do what makes do what makes you happy visually. And, you know, you should be all set. But try those two steps, uh, especially if you know you, if you, if you implemented it, uh, initiated an update and you, and it rebooted and you notice it's dull, go ahead and do those two steps. And if you think it took it overnight, or if you're, you know, if you're savvy enough to go look into uh, where the firmwares and the, the software updates are, and you can see that it's it's showing the newest update, you definitely know, you know, you need to do those two steps if you're having uh, picture issues. Uh, hopefully that will fix a lot of uh, Hisense users, uh, uh, you know, viewing issues, I hope. Okay, thanks.